Atlanta police say the good news is after the major crackdown two weekends ago, they've only had a few more arrests for street racing. But when it comes to a long term solution, Chief Shields tells me that it's not just a matter of giving them a place where they can race. They want their five minutes of Internet fame and they want to show that they are doing this illegally. They're doing it on city streets. They're stopping interstate. So police chief Erica Shields says a legal venue like the Atlanta Motor Speedway wouldn't stop the illegal street racing problem. Chief Shields says during the bust two weekends ago, there were sponsors involved from as far away as Detroit. Interestingly, Detroit had set up a legal space for people to do just that, to drive. But there was this group of individuals who had no interest in that. They want the illegality of it, so they came to Atlanta. So they will continue to crack down here because with street racing, she says lives are at stake. Their conduct is so reckless. It's it's just astounding how little regard they have for any human life, including their own. Chief Shields told me that now they're trying to find and arrest the sponsors since they are encouraging illegal activity. But since those sponsors are from out of state, that operation will likely involve the FBI.